good day today was a good day today every fall in the pacific northwest chinook salmon travel up river to spawn they dig their nest and lay their eggs that are fertilized by males from mid-September to March, the eggs lie safely buried in the gravel and less disturbed. In March, the tiny salmon called Alvin rise from the gravel. Each fish lives off a yolk sac attached to its body. Imagine having your own portable grocery store. The young salmon, now called par, eat tiny aquatic insects and grow to be one to three inches long. Through the spring and summer months, Car travel by the thousands down rivers slowly towards the ocean. Where the river meets the ocean, also called the estuary, the young salmon, now called smolts, grow rapidly and adapt to salt water. Most of these smolts enter the ocean in August or September, where they live for two to four years. Every year, salmon in the Pacific Northwest swim from the ocean up the river to spawn at the exact spot where they were born to start the cycle again. To help the salmon pass dams, engineers have constructed fish ladders. The pools allow the fish to rest between jumps. However, fish ladders are ineffective and only a small percentage are actually able to pass the dams. To spawn, females thrash their tails back and forth to dig hollows in the gravel for nests, which are called reds, and the female often damages her tail in the process. The male Chinook salmon have hooked jaws, called skypes, which develop during spawning. When the female digs her reds, the male salmon slices through the water like a streaking torpedo with his dorsal fin. He drives other males away from his selected mate, and the female protects her reds from intruders. Spawning Chinook never return to the ocean. Once the female fertilizes the eggs and the females cover the eggs with gravel, the fish grows weaker and dies in a matter of days. After death, the salmon provide welcome food for predators and scavengers and add valuable nutrition to the river. Remember, the eggs in the gravel beds hold promise of new life, the future generations. Help protect the special treasure in our rivers by staying out of the gravel beds from September to March.